Welcome, one and all, to Nine Elms. Welcome to the biggest regeneration zone in all of the UK. Nine Elms has a rich history of engineering, from Joseph Basil Jett's Albert Embankment and the wonderful work of the Short Brothers and their flying boats, to the very first railway line in 1938. But it doesn't stop there. Fast forwards to 2018, and this place and all the exciting things that are going on in it are all still being planned out and pieced together thanks to the very, very clever minds of engineers. Engineers are responsible for all of this. And what is this, you wonder? Well, let us show you. Engineers are responsible not only for things going on at ground level here at Nine Elms, they are planning and constructing things high above our heads and deep underground too. They're working out ways to fit them all together so that this part of the city can run just as smoothly as the rest, for everyone, from residents to business owners to just those passing through. Each and every road, building, path and pavement are all designed to fit together to make the best possible use of the space. Take a look up here, for example. Now that's not something you see every day. This is Embassy Gardens, and that there is a sky pool, situated 35 metres up in the air, spanning between two buildings. This incredible structure is the first of its kind. Nowhere else in the world is there another like it. And it's all down to the brains of the engineers at Ballymore. It's their job to work out, using the principles of maths and science, just how to create the marvel that is this sky-high, floating, clear-bottom swimming pool. Who would have thought? Flying whilst you're swimming. So from something up high to something deep, deep down below, engineers are also responsible for this incredible network. London would not be the city it is without it, and the newly developed Nine Elms is putting itself firmly onto the map as an extension of the Northern Line. Two new stations will arrive, Nine Elms and Battersea Power Station. This will be the stop you'll get off at if you fancy taking a browse around the power station's new shopping centre. Battersea Power Station, an icon of engineering and design, is one of the largest brick buildings in the world, once providing electricity to a fifth of the city. The engineers have ingeniously formulated a way to preserve the structure of this iconic building whilst filling it with shops and flats and cinemas and offices and art exhibitions, bars and cafes and restaurants, gyms, you get the idea. The once empty building will soon become an exciting hub for both residents and visitors of Nine Elms alike. So when you're travelling by tube to visit a power station turned world of leisure, it's all thanks to engineers. And if we drop even deeper down below, 66 metres down below the Thames, hold your noses, we get to the Thames Tideway, also known as the Super Sewer. And yep, you guessed it, the engineers work to create this too. It's the biggest infrastructure ever to be undertaken by the UK water industry. A pretty big contrast to some of the things we've seen, but it just goes to show how varied the work of engineers can be. So engineers have worked on pools up high in Nine Elms and tube networks and sewers deep down below, but let's not forget everything else in between. Look over here. This here is the residence brought to us by Bellway, and it sure does what it says. 500 new homes are within those walls, bringing new people to the heart of the city to live in the newly regenerated Nine Elms. Imagine how many people will call this building their home, all living inside individual flats that have been planned and put in place by engineers. And these here are the Riverlight Apartments, created by the engineers at St James. They've worked away and worked out how to create these structures as giant as they are, without toppling over. They've calculated a way to mix cement and concrete and gravel and huge steel rods called rebar to make buildings that will home thousands. But there's more. Look this way. There are new roads and the improved cycle routes. So if you're not travelling through on the new Northern Line extension, you can cruise through by bike, car, bus on paths, routes and roads planned by engineers. There are new green spaces. Where there were once gas rings, beautiful gardens will flourish. Skyscraper hotels and embassies. Everything that has been built here has been made possible by the work of engineers. And what an amazing newly engineered part of London it is. So if you had the power of an engineer, what would you create?